What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Datadash and today is December 12th of 2017. Well, folks, today we're going to finally talk about what's been on a lot of your minds outside in the Datadash community. I know many of you out there are long-term hodlers on this cryptocurrency. You've bought into it and you're never looking back. It's your favorite cryptocurrency. And I know this because I've gotten multiple requests, not only to cover its recent price action and monster rally, but also just to talk about the coin because so many of you out there are passionate about it. Well, folks, today... I'm going to finally take an in-depth video to talk about this and talk about what's been happening. And it is no other than the recent monster rally of Litecoin. Litecoin has gone up multitudes in valuation over the past few days and really over the past week, ever since it made its bottom around 600,000 Satoshis. So I'm going to be diving into this. Uh, we've been talking about it a little bit in my most recent daily update. However, I'm going to make a full in-depth video today to talk about it and try to keep it relatively short. First things first, though, we have to talk about the scale of this rally. This is pretty phenomenal for Litecoin. Uh, whether you were optimistic or bearish on it, you cannot deny that Litecoin has gone through an amazing rally over these past few days. Litecoin right now is sitting at a $17.6 billion valuation. I bet if we refresh it, it'll probably be a little bit off there. But no, actually, we're up a little bit more. <laughs> and if we go here to the seven-day chart, we can really see the scale of this. Litecoin just a few days ago was sitting a little bit above a comfortable $5 billion valuation, and now is sitting around $17.7 billion. That's more than three times its original valuation. Large cryptocurrencies don't usually move like that, and it's been an absolutely phenomenal rally. No one can deny it. In fact, Litecoin has actually passed the valuation of Bitcoin on January 1st of 2017. So that's definitely something to say, to see Litecoin at this level. Now, the question here is, is why this is happening. Uh, we obviously can see the grand scale of things. And of course, later on, I want to talk about a strategy, my kind of strategy to approaching Litecoin. If you all want to know it, uh, I'll be sure to do some TA and show you what I'm thinking. But uh, in the sense of why Litecoin's going up, we talked a little bit about this on my daily update. Now, I did mention a few of the good parts uh, as to why Litecoin's moving up, but there's also one big component that I forgot to mention. And I'm sorry, that happens sometimes, guys. I don't take jump cuts in my videos. I do everything in one take, so I sometimes forget things, and I got to keep the ball rolling, so I do apologize about that. But in regards to th some of the things that we did mention, the first thing we talked about was seeing as we saw success in Bitcoin futures, not only on the write-up and optimism in the sense of valuation, but also in execution of the futures. And they did well, and institutions were buying it up with absolute optimism. We've seen success with Bitcoin. Now the real question is, is not trying to focus on Bitcoin now that it has features launched. A lot of that's been priced in. People are starting to ask what the next cryptocurrency is going to be. And some would say Ethereum. Yes, I think that's true. But a lot of people are saying Litecoin. And I honestly agree with Litecoin more than Ethereum. It has a longer track record. It is very similar to Bitcoin. It's pretty simple. It's either store value, almost like how Bitcoin is seen as a digital gold. Litecoin could be seen as a digital silver. Again, I know it seems conceptual and weird, but that's how people are treating these things. They're investment vehicles. And along with this, you can make simple transactions. It's nothing complex. Not to mention, they really share a lot of the same source code. The nice thing about Litecoin, as we'll talk about later, is you can process more transactions. And that's a big thing that we didn't mention, but we'll, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So you have it being a potential candidate for the next futures. And we saw how much that brought up Bitcoin's price with optimism, plus how it did after the futures launch and everything went quite well. And I wouldn't expect anything different for Litecoin. Not to mention, you had Charlie Lee on CNBC the other day. Anytime Charlie not only speaks on Twitter, but also gets on uh, any kind of media outlet, he definitely does provide some optimism in the price action for Litecoin because it's publicity. It's, you know, people getting to know about your currency outside of just Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. You know, and we see how much it's been covered in the media if Litecoin gets that kind of coverage, just like any cryptocurrency, you would expect it to go up. So you have these things that were serving as good things for Litecoin. Not to mention, it has been one of the higher uh, higher valued cryptocurrencies for a long time. So you know, anytime you look at coin market cap and you're checking Bitcoin's price, you might see Litecoin there. But the thing that really has pushed up Litecoin's price up is not really all these factors. The big thing that I forgot to mention in the video is the fact that with Litecoin going up, um, there's a there's a correlation uh, in the demand for the market for uh, an, a way to execute liquidity into crypto markets and in other altcoins. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, a lot of people were trying to make transactions with Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's been a, a big thing right now. A lot of people have been trying to make transactions on the networks. However, it's quite clogged up. You've got Bitcoin, which is having people hop, you know, hop over one another trying to 
process their transaction in the next block and Bitcoin can really only process you know a few transactions per second not to mention Ethereum, which has a higher number of transactions per second, but is still getting clogged up by crypto kitties. <laughs> I, I, I can't make this stuff up. I mean, it's, it's, it's seriously an issue right now. The scalability issue for all cryptocurrencies shows that there is still a big, big problem for long-term adoption on a lot of these coins. So Ethereum and Bitcoin are clogged up. Well, if you're thinking about it, a lot of the volume comes through Coinbase and GDAX. And if it's coming through those exchanges, the, the, which are shared together in the sense of buys and sells, what's the third option you have? Well, I could open up my Coinbase account, but I think many of you out there know what it is. It's Litecoin. Litecoin not only has fast transaction times uh, and can process up to, last time I checked, if everything was fully segwit implemented in their infrastructure, uh, it's uh, 56 transactions per second, if not tw anywhere between 28 to 56. And that's way better than Bitcoin or Ethereum. And that's what's needed right now. Not to mention with more transactions per second, fees are lowered because more transactions can be processed by the miners. So right now, for example, we come over here to Litecoin, you're paying much less, um, you're having much less demand. Uh, now you are seeing more demand growth in Litecoin. That's a good sign. That means people are actually using it. Uh, not to mention, of course, you're going to get that obviously when people are buying and selling in markets. But if we go here to the uh, the transaction fee. We can see here, Litecoin is nothing compared to Bitcoin. It is extremely low. Uh, you're, you're paying around 26 cents, whereas with Bitcoin, an average transaction fee is ranging in the uh, <laughs> somewhere, well, I think it's saying 20 there. Yeah, about 19 to $20 range for any Bitcoin transaction. It's that clogged up right now. Ethereum, if we pull that out, isn't uh, doing a, a much better itself. It's uh, definitely not to the Bitcoin range, but it's more the fact that Ethereum's network is clogged up. So timing is more of a fear on Ethereum. Bitcoin, it's more of cost. So you have both of the biggest crypto networks clogged up with transactions. It can't do things effectively. And I think that's played a very big role with Litecoin coming back up as a either temporary or long-term solution to uh, you know the kind of entry of liquidity, cash and capital coming in to crypto markets to trade altcoins and to do whatever. Because you can simply buy Litecoin, send it out of your Coinbase account to whatever whatever exchange you want, and you can go trade uh, it for Bitcoin and then go you know trade on exchange and stuff because those aren't actual transactions happening. Uh, they're happening on the uh, the database of that exchange, but it's not moving wallets or anything like that once it's moved over there. And we can see that this is the case. You would think that you know South Korean markets are dominating this. Now the volume has come in recently, but a few days ago there was no South Korean volume and it's been consistent with GDAX and Bitfinex practically taking the lead here. And that goes to prove what's really happening here. It's a, it's a liquidity funnel. It's a way for people to trade other coins. Now I'm not downplaying Litecoin. Uh, again, I had some other things that I said were benefits for Litecoin. And I'm gonna tell you all what's my take on all of this as we go over towards the chart here. So to keep things short, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out. I can't remember their name, but they got me an indicator here where it has the 50, 100, and 200 day all in one indicator. So I can start using a few other things as well, which is nice. So anyways, jumping back into the video here, uh, I want to talk about, you know, how we can interpret like one here. Now, I might have made it seem like I'm just uh, a short term. This is all just a short term run up and that Litecoin isn't going to hold these valuations. I'm not saying that I'm not bearish on Litecoin. So don't don't smash that dislike button. Litecoin fans, okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna let you all know. Uh, a lot of this run up has been generally caused by that, but there's also, like, like I said, been some positive news. There is the, um, the opportunity for Litecoin futures to eventually become a reality. Now the Bitcoin futures are moving on, and as Bitcoin moves towards ETFs, I know that Litecoin is probably gonna, you know, the people are gonna want to trade Litecoin futures, Ethereum futures, all these different types of financial instruments. So I think Litecoin's a potential candidate for that. Not to mention Charlie Lee is an active figure in the media. Uh, Satoshi Nakamoto is in hiding. Charlie Lee is out in the open. He's he's willing to talk about it anytime he gets the chance, and I don't blame him. Uh, but anyways. So what we have to talk about here is we understand that a lot of this run up here is short term, guys. I just got to be real with you. I mean, even in you guys in the Litecoin community, we're talking about this. And it's almost something to brag about. Litecoin can process more transactions than most leaders in the space. So because of that, it could serve uh, and uh, serve as uh, you know, a very good opportunity to see Litecoin really rise up over the next few months. So 
How am I interpreting this? Let's go ahead and take a look here. So Litecoin, as I said at the beginning of the video, has gone up from 600,000 Satoshis all the way up to, uh, at, at its peak, almost around uh, 2 million Satoshis. So this was a phenomenal run up. But right now it's three times where it's at. You all know what I'm going to say here, and I know Litecoin holders don't want to hear me say it. It needs to have a little bit of a correction. I'm not buying at these price levels because I don't buy things that go exponentially up. I wait for things that go exponentially up and I wait for them to have a correction, to have a slight pullback and find support. As you all know, I can't be different on this, okay? Not to mention knowing that a lot of this is from all the other networks just being clogged up. I think Litecoin though does have some potential for another trade to the upside or another long-term hodl. So how am I going to be playing Litecoin? I'll go ahead and show you all. So right now we can see that this is obviously a point of resistance in the past. I mean, I'll zoom out here to really make it clear. We'll go back and focus on these points first. Um, we've got over here around the 18,000 to uh, 2 million, 180, or sorry, 1 million, 800,000 Satoshi range to 2 million. See it over here as well. Uh, you see it up here a little bit more. It's a little more extended to the upside, but you see it over here as well. So we have really three main points of history and if you want to include this one a fourth one where when you get past the 18 million uh the 1 million 800 000 satoshi range you're running into a high risk profile not to mention we just came down all the way from down here up to here with bitcoin being at all-time highs that's why this has been such a ridiculous rally in the sense of us dollars so we have, of course, this area of resistance we're tangling with now. You can take the risk if you want and buy it up here. It's your choice. But I think that it needs to have a little bit of a cool down. And you guys, can't, we can't be greedy, guys. It's been up three times compared to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is at all-time highs. So I think Litecoin needs a cool down. Now, what am I looking for? Well, much like in the past, we've seen it come down and find support at big even levels, like 1,600,000 Satoshis. We've seen it at 1,400,000 Satoshis. And we've seen it down here at a million Satoshis. I don't think we're going down to a million Satoshis. So maybe that'll make the bulls on Litecoin forgive me a little bit on this. I think we're going to see it somewhere more reasonable, around 1,400,000 or 1,600,000. I think it needs a cool down. Or you might get uh, what's you might get the best of both worlds. You might get one of these moving averages as they've started to curve up here. Even the 200 days starting to curve up a little bit. Maybe you'll get the 50 day coming up and acting as a level of support somewhere in this range here. And you can see Litecoin find nice support, much like we've seen with Dash and Monero on the 50 day, and it can continue up to new highs. I really do believe it. So what I'm looking for again, resistance at this level right here. Sorry for my not so straight line. I just thought I'd draw it. Resistance here, you're going to see a correction. And as that correction comes through, you're going to have the moving averages come up. We're going to come up here to find levels of support. And you're going to get a bounce off there, hopefully rallying up to new highs. I don't know if it can do that, but we'll we'll have to see. Uh, that's how I'm going to be generally playing. And I'm going to be looking for it to find support around these two big even levels to hold it there for a while. And who knows, we might see Litecoin carry higher. I'm really not going to doubt that it can because we've seen uh, not only IOTA have drastic rallies, we've seen Dash, Monero do fantastic over these past few weeks, even when Bitcoin makes all-time highs. And I know as we see continued optimism in Bitcoin, we're going to see it in altcoins. It follows afterwards, and we're seeing it right here unfold. So again, I'm waiting for a correction. It's in the overbought area on the RSI. I'm waiting for it to come down, not to be oversold, uh, but at, at, at the same time, I'm waiting for it to level out a little bit, okay? So that's my general strategy. Short term, needs a correction. Long term, this could do really well. And I'm gonna keep a level-headed uh, level approach here. Keep my eyes on the charts. As always, we'll be covering Litecoin on the channel. And I hope this video provided a little bit of substance to you guys. Litecoin holders, though, if I missed anything, uh, Try to be nice about it, but I'm um, trying to keep up with all cryptocurrencies. But share it down below. If there's something else that you're optimistic about in regards to Litecoin, instead of just, ah, it's mooning, it's going to the moon, uh, don't, don't don't look back, uh, look at the price. You know, give me some substance. Maybe I missed something. You know, I, I got a lot of coins to cover, so I'd like to hear from you guys. And as always, I'm open to criticism and ideas. All right? Anyways, everyone, that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Feel free to comment down below what you're doing if you're going to be trying to trade or invest in Litecoin. I'd love to hear down below in the comments. But until then, everyone, I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.